Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. In today's episode, I get to share some big news with you. July 18th, Team Bazooka, we're heading to Abu Dhabi for Fight Island. We're taking this fight on two weeks notice and that has been the biggest challenge and this is what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Taking a fight on short notice can be very difficult. One, because you don't have that full preparation. As a professional, especially getting into the UFC, you at least want eight weeks. But with an opportunity like this, we jumped on it, Malcolm, is a black belt in jiu-jitsu and has been striking with me over a year now consistently. So we're going into this fight extremely confident. But as a coach, when you do take a fight on short notice, there's a few things I want you guys to keep in mind. One is you don't have eight weeks, so you can't really blast out hard training camps in this last two weeks. You have to build it up. It's almost like if you'd have done nothing, especially during the corona time, and then all of a sudden have to go in and 100%, that's where your nervous system can get shot, and this is where your immune system gets suppressed, and you can start getting sick. So it's important that you build in transitions. You build it in slowly, you get that progression. Build the fighter in. They gotta feel good, they gotta feel like they have energy, and the key is make sure your fighter stays confident. Since you only have two weeks to prepare for this fight, the mind can play a lot of tricks on you. So what you wanna do is make sure as a coach, you keep your fighter confident. In your training sessions, you have to make them feel good. Do things that make them feel good. So a lot of times when I end my session, I make sure I do a little bit of sharp pads or something that Malcolm does well so we can leave feeling confident. So that's the key. So one, not overburning them. Two, making them feel confident. And finally, you wanna make sure things are prepared and planned for. A lot of times the fighter wants to do too much. They feel that they have to do a crash course. They're trying to get eight weeks of training in the last week or two, that's too much. So have the training planned and reassure the fighter that the more he does isn't necessarily good. You have to kind of draw them back a little bit. And I've seen a lot of fighters even perform better because it sounds funny when I say this, but in an eight week camp, you really start depleting yourself. All the mental fatigue starts to take place. So what happens is a lot of times by the end of your camp, you're so depleted, you're so tired, but with a short camp, you don't have that time to over worry. You don't have that time to stress. So it's all about focusing and on, on the fight and not having those chance for those nerves. So a lot of times, if you're that special type of fighter who can handle situations like this, a last minute fight could play very well for you. Someone like me, and I'll be honest with you on the channel, I'm someone who needs to be prepared. I like a full eight week camp. I like to slowly cut my weight down and I don't like to add variables to losing. Uh, to me, I wanna make sure I go in 100% mentally and physically. But other fighters like Malcolm, who's experienced and this opportunity doesn't come very often. So Team Bazooka, we're ready. The squad is ready. We put together a, an amazing two weeks training camp for Malcolm. And I expect Malcolm to not only get the win, but to get the finish. So make sure you watch UFC July 18th, UFC Fight Night to check out Malcolm Gordon get his first win in the UFC. Make sure you follow my Instagram at Bazooka Joe V as I'm gonna post a lot about Fight Island while I'm there. And like always, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification. We'll see you next week. My name's Malcolm X Gordon. Um, I'm fighting July 18th, uh, UFC Fight Island. Like I I've wanted to be here for so long and it's been such a hard, crazy road. The last few years of my career, I've, I've wanted to fight the best and that's who I've been getting and I think this is where I belong to be. You know, the sky's the limit. I just gotta get in there. They, they, they just gotta like, once I'm there, that's it. This is where I'm supposed to be. You know, these are the, these are the guys. And, you know, I'm thankful to be here. As soon as I heard the, the call for this fight, I called up Joe, right away, I was like, hey man, we gotta, we gotta get in the gym right away. We've been here ever since. He's a jiu-jitsu black belt, so fine tuning on his feet has made a big difference into his game. So now we're at an opportunity where we can strike, you know, almost as good as his ground. So I think that's what's gonna really shock the world. And there's not many flyweights in the world that have a finishing record that he does. As soon as he takes you down, he gets your back, he's gonna choke you out. I don't think it's very common for flyweights to be finishing fights as often as I do. Um, I have a decent amount of knockouts, TKOs, 
but a lot of submission finishes. I think that's where it's gonna that's gonna be where my standout in this division is gonna be. I think he's one of the most rounded uh, fighters that the UFC is gonna see, especially in that flyweight division. I think he has a good chance now, even being ranked in the top ten. And I have a feeling we're gonna see him really climb these ranks very quickly. I want to be the champ. I want to be the champ of the UFC. That's what everybody's goal and their dream is. This is my opportunity, and, I, and you know I'm here, so. That's, this is kind of what I do. I get to these organizations and then I take over. So. His knees, his kicks, I mean, he's got a long, tall frame and once he uses punches at full extension, lets those kicks go, um, it's gonna be really scary knowing what he can do when he has your back and can choke you out. I wanna fight the best and this is this is the place, this is the platform we do. This is why I've put so much blood, sweat and tears into this, this sport to finally get this opportunity. It's just like, I just got to get out there and once that door closes, I don't think much is going to matter at that point.